Hello, Recapped Mystery here. Today, I'm going to explain an American comedy drama film, The Rum Diary. Watch out and take care. Paul Kemp, an American journalist and struggling author, arrives in San Juan in 1960, Puerto Rico, in order to work for a local newspaper. As he waits outside the editor-in-chief's office, a man called Bob Sala presents himself as the paper's photographer and tells him about the city as a whole. Kemp is soon invited into the office, where he meets editor Edward Lotterman, who says that he is looking to recruit motivated individuals to his staff who can assist him raise the paper's ranking. Kemp goes to the library after his initial introduction to the team, where he encounters Hal Sanderson, who offers him a position. Kemp and Sala went out for a drink the same night. Sala says that he was the sole applicant for the post. He also predicts that the newspaper would go out of business shortly, but his colleagues disagree. After their companions have left, Sala tells him about a man named Moberg, who works as a newspaper correspondent but rarely shows up owing to his drinking problems. Kemp also informs him of Sanderson's offer and inquires about his thoughts on him to which Sala responds that he used to work for the paper but is now a freelance realtor. He also informs him that Sanderson has numerous ties in the city, which may be beneficial to his career. Sala returns him to his hotel after dinner and offers him a place to reside. Kemp returns inside and spends his spare time on the boat, where he meets Chino, who reveals she is out for a swim to avoid a dull business party. Kemp is immediately taken with her and wants to continue the conversation but she walks away without answering any of his queries. Kemp notices after spending some time in Puerto Rico that, although being a tourist magnet, it is not regarded safe to stroll around due to insufficient security. He attempts to emphasize the issues in his essay, but Edward refuses to publish it since it may harm tourism, and instead advises him to focus on the attractions. While they are discussing the article, Mauberg enters into the office, and Edward threatens to fire him, but instead argues with him, knowing that he cannot fire him till his dues are paid. Kemp interrupts the battle and takes Edward back to his office, offering him the position of commander and replacement for Mauberg. While at the airport covering the mayor of Miami's impending tour, Kemp runs into Sanderson again, who invites him to lunch. Sanderson informs him about his profession and how real estate is a gold mine with individuals willing to pay a fortune to purchase a piece of property in Puerto Rico. Kemp notices Chino at Sanderson's beachside villa and realizes she is engaged to him, but she claims not to remember him from previously. Sanderson invites Kemp to write commercials for his real estate business so that more people are drawn to it as she prepares lunch for them. Kemp packs his belongings after the informal meeting with Sanderson and heads to Sala's flat, where he has offered him a place to stay. Sala discovers Mauberg shares the room with him but spends most of his time outside as he stares about the depressing flat. Kemp dislikes the flat, but he is compelled to accept it because he has nowhere else to stay. The next day, Sala brings Kemp to a cockfight and explains how he makes money from it. When they return to their flat, they are watching TV when Mauberg appears. Sala tells Kemp that Mauberg brings in unused drum plant filters with the highest alcohol percentage. Mauberg also complains about losing his position at the paper and declares his desire to murder Lotterman. But Sala dismisses him. The next morning, Kemp tells Edward about his newest essay, in which he discusses the city's bad living circumstances. But Edward urges him to go with the flow because he can't change anything. Kemp becomes agitated. But Edward explains that the journal is funded by the sponsors, and the writings must adhere to their requirements. He believes that even if such pieces were published, no one would pay heed because people come here to enjoy their vacations and are uninterested in the region's difficulties. Kemp later pays a visit to Sanderson's house and sees him having sex with Chino in the water, Art Zimberger and his wife, Sanderson's pals and business partners, soon join him. Sanderson informs Kemp that Zimberger is a U.S. Marine who will be collaborating with him on a forthcoming project. Meanwhile, a few residents arrive at the beach, but Sanderson turns them away, claiming that it is his property. Kemp is irritated by his actions but is unable to intervene. Sanderson invites Kemp to an informal chat with his friends, including Zimberger and Mr. Segura, during the party where they tell him about their new proposal of building hotels on the island and ask him to write articles in their favor. Kemp, 
who is enamored by Shino, informs Saw about her on his way back from the party, but he advises him to keep away from her because she is currently with Sanderson. They soon stop at a wayside hotel for dinner, but the waitress refuses to serve them, claiming that the restaurant has already closed. When the owner arrives, Sala fights with him and asks him to prepare dinner for him. Kemp understands the owner is planning a fight with his local buddies, so he asks Sala to leave. On Kemp's advice, they calmly walk away and attempt to flee, but the locals pursue them. Sala becomes concerned that they will be killed, but Kemp attempts to scare them away. They are besieged by the townspeople and start fighting, but the cops arrive and stop them. They are hauled to the police station and charged with a variety of offenses, including assaulting and injuring a police officer during the struggle. The prosecution intended to keep them in jail for 30 days, but Sanderson appears and bails them out. When they return to their flat the next morning, Sala invites him to accompany him to retrieve his car from where they left it the night before. They find the automobile but learn that the people are upset about it, but Sala figures out how to make it function again. Kemp meets Sanderson's crew after an exciting trip back home, who informs him that the U.S. military is releasing the lease on a property, and they intend to take advantage of the situation. Kemp expresses his anxiety after hearing their plan to develop a full estate, as he assumed they only planned to build one hotel, but he is assured that this is just the beginning. Kemp is requested to sign secrecy agreements after the meeting to ensure that he does not expose their company secret to anyone. Kemp agrees to do it, but wants Sanderson to reciprocate. He provides him money and a new automobile, and requests that he pick up Shino from his house. Kemp visits her at Sanderson's house, where she informs him about the impending fun fair and invites him to go as well. Kemp informs Sanderson that he was not invited, but she insists on his participation. They enjoy their time in the car on their way back to the party and fall in love, but they resist the urge. Sala returns to the flat and informs him that the event from last night was covered in the papers. His fear over the report is confirmed when Edward chastises them for their trip. Kemp invites Sala to the island and offers to join the fun fair as well. Seeing how upset Sala is, Mr. Zimberger advises them on the project of establishing hotels and beachside resorts on the island. Kemp and Sala later talk about Sanderson's idea. Kemp believes the project will be a nightmare for the people since they will lose their lands, but he knows Sanderson is unconcerned. They arrive at the fun fair late at night, but Sanderson is horrified to see Sala with him. He chastises Kemp for showing him the island and telling him about their bargain. But Kemp assures him that Sala would not tell anyone. Kemp and Shino spend some time together on the boat, and he tells her about his career and his desire to be a great writer. Kemp leaves the party after supper to join his friends, but Shino expresses her desire to accompany him. Sanderson does not wish for her to depart. He confronts her, but she dismisses his fears and decides to go anyway. At the club, a drunk Shino dances with the locals, which irritates Sanderson who attempts to intervene but is beaten up by security. He and Kemp are kicked out of the club, leaving Shino behind. The following morning, Kemp approaches Sanderson on the boat and inquires about Shino, but he displays his displeasure with Kemp and informs him that their agreement is finished. When they arrive home, Mauber greets them in the flat and informs them that Lauterman has left the position and that the newspaper may close at any time. He gives them a unique medicine which they decide to try. While under the influence, Kemp has a light bulb moment and decides to expose Sanderson's real estate scams. Meanwhile, Shino appears out of nowhere and requests permission to stay. Kemp later contacts Slaughterman, who has returned to politics, and requests that the article concerning Sanderson be published. But Lauterman refuses. Kemp becomes aware of the obstacles in journalism and decides to find a way out. Shino apologizes to him believing she has caused him grief, but he satisfies her by claiming she helped him clear his thoughts, as he recognized he must expose the frauds rather than be a part of them. They receive a court summons informing them that Sanderson has withdrawn his bail and that they are now wanted by the police. As Sala goes to speak with their lawyer, Mauberg arrives at the flat and informs Kemp that the publication is closing permanently. Kemp resolves to print one more issue to reveal Sanderson's unethical dealings, but is informed that they lack the necessary resources. Meanwhile, 
Camp receives a note from Shino in which she reveals that she has traveled to New York and left a $100 cash for Camp. Camp decides to stake these $100 on a cockfight to make some money while drinking the last bottle of rum, and shares his proposal with Sala and Maberg, who agree to do it. Maberg brings them to his witch friend Papanebo and requests that she bless the cock so that he might win his final fight. They return to the office after winning the fight. But Maberg warns them that Sanderson's men have grabbed the printing press, making it impossible to print their last issue. Kemp continues his journey, departing Puerto Rico on one of Sanderson's boats. After recognizing his actual potential, he returned to New York, married Cheneau, and became a successful and renowned journalist, as shown in the post credit sequence. The end. Please subscribe to assist the channel, turn on notification, and leave a like. Thank you for taking the time to watch. See you again soon.